Help is on the way for one of the most endangered habitats on Earth, coral reefs. You can dive into all the action happening underwater with an incredible special. Joining me now for more in this sponsored interview is renowned conservationist Dr. M. Sanjayan. Welcome, doctor. Happy to have you. Thanks. Thanks very much, Tina. All right. Tell me, what is the Changing Planet series all about? So this is a really exciting uh, special or TV show on PBS. And the idea behind it was we were going to pick certain habitats that we were going to follow over multiple years. So five to seven years, go back year after year so we can see how the planet is changing and how people are responding to that change. No one's ever conceived of a series like this before. Usually you'd get one year done, then you look and think, well, should we do another year and so on. But this was from the beginning thought about as a time series for planet Earth. And this is in season three that just is airing right now on pbs.org and on the app. It focuses specifically on coral reefs. And the reason why we went specific to coral reefs this year is because we have a record warming of the ocean right now, and we felt that this story really needed to come to light. But it's really using footage that we've captured over three years, uh, including this year, uh, when I got the chance to visit some of these key re reefs around the world. Oh, so important to learn about, to have preserved, to be able to show our children, future generations. Tell me why the coral reef is endangered. So we have, uh, you know, the, the, there's more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which means the Earth's temperature has risen in the last, certainly post-industrial, and has risen quite dramatically in the last few years. Um, I think your air conditioner use probably sort of proves how much that's happening. Now, the oceans tend to absorb a lot of that heat. In fact, most of the heat that is generated is absorbed by the ocean. So it means that the oceans start warming up as well. And it turns out that coral reefs are really sensitive to the warming of the oceans. Um, they have been around for millions and millions of years, uh, and they are really perfectly grow in a perfect sort of band of temperature, not too cold and not too hot. And today, right now, if you go to many ocean communities and you get in the, in the water, you will realize that the water is much warmer than you normally expect it. And that has a knock-on effect on coral reefs. They bleach, which means they lose their color. Um, they get rid of a symbiotic algae that lives inside of them. And then eventually they die. And when the coral reefs die, obviously the color all goes, they become white, that's why we call it bleaching. And then they break off and they become rubble um, that ultimately nothing really can live on. Ooh, doctor, what do we do? What can we do here at home to help save the coral reefs? Yeah, so this is a really difficult question because, you know, you're talking about an underwater ecosystem that is incredibly important for humans and for life on Earth. 500 million people depend on coral reefs for their food. If you think about a tropical holiday or you think about a beach holiday, in your mind, you're thinking about snorkeling over a reef. Now, the, the challenge, that, so we can do multiple things. One is obviously we got to deal with emissions and climate change. But more specifically, you know, think about what goes into rivers, what goes into a municipality, what you flush down your, to, you know, sort of your toilet or your, your sink. All of that ends up in the water. All of it, that ends up creating pollution, which makes it harder for reefs to recover. The good news here is that this special doesn't just look at the impact on reefs, but it follows some scientists, some in Florida and some on the other side of the world in the Maldives, who are really doing some amazing things to try to help reefs recover. And one, a couple of them have sort of come up with this technique for basically doing IVF, right? So fertility treatment for reefs at scale to encourage them to reproduce and, and breed at a faster rate than normal. And so what we did was we followed some of these scientists and what they're coming up with is just absolutely mind boggling. My jaw is dropped. I think it's so fascinating. Thank you so much for spreading the knowledge. We have to keep having the conversation. Where can we go for more information and to catch the Changing Planet series? Well, pbs.org is where it's airing and the PBS app has lots of stuff on, on Changing Planet and this choral special. Cannot wait to catch it. Thank you so much.